5.6, Solving Equations and Modeling. This section is the last section of this chapter, and it's piecing all the little things together. So I have the problem, 8x, or 8 to the x equals 2 to the x plus 1. Normally, we'd want to take the same bases, cancel them out. Do I have the same base? No, I have a 2 and an 8. Can I change one of them into the other base? Mm, okay, I can't just magically... Leaving it the way it is, can I rewrite it to have the same bases? I can change this 8. How can I rewrite an 8 as a base 2? 2 to the third. Now that I also have that x. 2 to the third power is 8. Now I have the same bases. They're both base 2. The bases will cancel out. And I have 3x equals x plus 1. Subtract the x over. 2x equals 1. Divide by 2. x is 1 half. That's changing one into the same base. Here's this one. 5 to the x equals 2. Can I change them into similar bases? Can I rewrite a 2 as a base 5? Or can I rewrite a 5 as a base 2? No. So I need to do something in the problem. I'm going to take the ln of 5 to the x. ln of 2. There's one more guy there that can help me out. What do I know about lns? Well, I don't want to get rid of the ln. There's something I can do with the natural logs. What caused me the problem here? I or I have x as an exponent. What can I do with this exponent here? I can pull it and make it a coefficient. x ln of 5 equals ln of 3. Or two. Next step. What am I trying to solve for? What do I have to move? So I'm going to divide by the ln of five. Divide by the ln of five. X equals the ln of two over the ln of five. I can take and find an approximation with my calculator. I don't do any LNs, logs, or whatever until the very end. I have the LN of 2 divided by the LN of 5. Make sure you close the parentheses. 0.431. Is my approximation right here? Three go three decimal places. Now we have this is the type that I have different bases. What did we do in the last problem to get rid of it? to get rid of the, or to pull the exponents down. The ln. So I'm going to do the ln 
of 2 to the 4x minus 1 equals ln to the 3 minus x plus 1. What did we do in the last problem that I can do here? I can pull the exponents down. So it becomes x, 4x minus 1 times ln of 2. I don't need that second parenthesis. Equals negative x plus 1 times the ln of 3. This one's not as easy as the last one. <coughs> we, we have to solve this. First thing I need to do, is since I have two terms out front, I'm going to distribute. 4x ln of 2 plus, actually it'll be minus ln of 2 because it's times by negative 1 equals, over here it's going to be negative x ln of 3 plus ln of 3. I'm going to try to get all the x's to one side and all the everything else to the other side. So this has to move over there, and this has to move over there. 4x ln of 2 plus x ln of 3 equals ln of 2 plus the ln of 3. I move things where they belong. Both of these LNs have an X. And that's what I'm trying to solve for. So I'm going to pull it out. If I pull out an X for LN of 2 plus the LN of 3 equals ln of 2 plus the ln of 3. Now what do I need to do? How would I solve for x normally? Divide. I'm going to divide by this right here. So x equals ln of 2 plus the ln of 3 all over. 4 ln of 2 plus the ln of 3. From this, I can find out what the approximation is. They don't cancel out. When you're typing it into the calculator, you have to be careful. Everything in top needs to be in parentheses. Everything in the bottom needs to be in parentheses. It's going to be a bunch of LNs and stuff in a fraction, yeah. Most likely. Yeah. Divided by 4. Whoops. <coughs> 4 LN of 2 plus LN of 3. My approximation is 0 0.463. I know it's tiresome writing, writing all these LNs over and over and over again. If you don't have, if you can actually go in the beginning, go LN of 2. But now you're dealing with 0 0.963 over and over and over and over again. You have to be careful about the decimals. It's easier just to write LN of 2.
The earthquake that hit Haiti last year, what's that? I used this example last year, and I'll change it right now. The earthquake that hit Japan was a 9.0 on a Richter scale. The one in Haiti last year was 7. This one's a 9. M is magnitude. E is the amount of energy in ergs. The formula to find the magnitude of any earthquake <coughs> is two thirds log of base, or sorry, of log base 10 of E divided by 10 to the 11.8. So we're going to find out how much energy was released. Yes, a lot. How much energy was released? All we're going to do is substitute. The magnitude of the earthquake was a 9. Two-thirds log E over 10 to 11.8. Someone found out, found out this always happens. They break it down, take a couple of them, and it always ends up being this pattern. Yep. My first step is to get rid of this two-thirds. I'm going to multiply by reciprocal. So I'm going to use decimals. 13.5 is the log e over 10 to 11.8. How do I get rid of a log? Why do I use a 10 to the? That's really a base 10. This will cancel out that. 10 to the 13.5 equals E over 10 to the 11.8. Yeah, I can put in a calculator 10 to the 13.5. And I get a very large number. I'm not messing with it. Why would I divide? <laughs> Multiply by 10 to 11.8. The 10. What do I do when I multiply with the same bases? I add them together. So it's 10 to the. 25.3. To find out what that is, one point nine nine five times ten to the twenty fifth power. That is how much energy was released. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about rearranging. Here's another type. I want to see if you can solve this one. Log of x plus log of x minus 3 equals 1. The first step should probably be to multiply. <coughs> so I have log x squared minus 3x equals 1. How do I get rid of a logarithm? Tenth, ten. Because that's actually base 10. Now that cancels out. x squared minus 3x equals 10. Subtract the 10 over. x squared minus 3x minus 10 equals 0. x minus 5, x plus 2 equals 0. x is 5 and negative 2. The one I really need to worry about always is a negative. Okay, I'm going to put it right here. Can't take the log of a negative number. It's just 5. How about this one? 
first step. What do you think my first step should be? Divide by 4. I have a 4 here out front. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. E to the 3x minus 5 equals 18. How do I get rid of an E? LN. So the LN of this, LN of that. LN and E cancels out. 3x minus 5 equals the LN of 18. I'm not changing it yet. I leave LN as in the problem as long as I can. Just like any normal math problem. Next step. Add 5 and then divide by 3. So I add the 5 over, then divide by 3. LN of 18. Add 5. Divide by 3. Now I take it in my calculator. LN of 18 plus 5 divided by 3. 2.630. Once you get started to getting to a point where you know what to do, that's where it's a little bit tricky. I think most people, once you get it to this part, it shouldn't be that bad. But it's thinking about that 4 out front. But you have to remember that 4 is just multiplying. The other thing I could have done is thrown... Well, actually, I can't do that. Because that's only for LMs and logs. Newton's Law of Cooling. You did this too last year. This is the chapter test. And this will be on the chapter test. These are just examples of, like, applications of it. See this formula? You're not going to have to remember it. This is just an application of LNs and logs and you know, where you have to rearrange and solve. So don't get stressed out over, you have to do it. Okay. You, an object is hotter than its surroundings, it's going to cool down. An object that's cooler than its surroundings will warm up. Common sense. T of T equals T sub S plus the quantity of T sub 0 minus T sub S times E to the negative KT is not so common sense. This just says I had the initial temperature, or sorry, the final temperature after a certain amount of time. T sub 0 is the initial temperature of the item. T sub S is the temperature of the outside of its surroundings. We're assuming that it's a constant temperature. T stands for time. Negative K is the constant rate of decrease. And E means E. E. Here's an example of a problem. I just want you to write it down, and then we're going to go over it tomorrow.